Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video. Now we are going to be moving on from uh, the multi threaded programming aspect of Java, and we're going to be moving on to enumerations, auto boxing, and annotations. But this episode, we're going to be learning about enumerations specifically, the basics of it, and yeah. So what is an enumeration? Well, it's, an, it's a list of name constants that define a new data type and its values. Basically, what that means is it's a special type of class that lets you define a new data type of your own name. You could choose the name of it, and then you choose what data type, what um, values those, that data type can equal. It can only equal the data types that you specify. In other words, an enumeration gives you a way to explicitly s specify the only values that a data type can actually have. So enumerations are commonly used to define a set of values that represent a collection of items. So maybe like the days of the week, Monday, Wednesday, like you can't change those. It's only Monday through s Sunday. So it's a little hard to explain, but it's really simple. So in short, it's just a collection of constants. That's all it is. So anyway, um, so to make an, an enumeration, you would define it with the enum keyword, enum or enum, I don't know. I guess enum. Um, oh, wait, I gotta give it a name, of course. So enum, I'm gonna just call it enum, I don't care. <laughs> and then you give it a name, so what is the name of the data type that you wanna make? Uh, we'll call it um, days. So the days of the week, I guess. And then we could now list a bunch of constants that go with that. So this is a new data type that we just created, okay? And now we have to um, list any possible um, value that that data type can equal, okay? So it can only be these, okay? So Monday, and they have to be all caps. Well, they don't actually, um, but sometimes you might want to actually put them in all caps because um, the values of an enumeration are actually constants, and uh, if you remember, constants are all caps, but you don't have to, really, it's all your choice. So I'm gonna just name it, not all caps, I guess, so Monday, Tuesday, you separate them by commas, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, hope I'm spelling them all right, oh, that would be embarrassing, and uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, cool, so now that we have all these values, now we have a new data type, and all the values that can equal is any of these, okay, it can't equal anything else, okay, so once we have the um, enumeration made, we can actually declare it, um, declare in a um, variable of the type days. So days is now a variable type, so days. It's like the same thing as saying int, like the primitive types, int string. This is a days value. So days, and then you can give it a name, you can give it a name of whatever you want, just to reference it. It's a variable, you know. So days, uh, I'll call it day one equals, and now right here, you choose any of these values, okay? So you can't just put Monday like that. You'd have to do days.monday because technically it's an object. So each of these little things right here are objects. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These are all objects, okay? And basically an enumeration is just a class. It's a special type of class, okay? So anyway, we now have a variable made, which is an enumeration actually. So we have a variable na uh, made of the type days and it equals days.monday, which is Monday. So yeah. So anyway, let's go back up here. These uh, these are called identifiers, and these are they are also called um, enumeration constants because in front of these you have final static or static final, meaning that they can be accessed anywhere, like we did here, and they're final, meaning that they're constants. They can't be changed if you remember correctly. So yeah, each one is implicitly declared as a public static final member of days. Okay. So furthermore, the type is the type of enumeration in which they are declared, which is Apple. So any, all of these types is, uh, I mean, not Apple, days is from the thing I was reading. So each of these type is days, okay? So that's why we were able to set this variable to days and then call on Monday, because it's part of this. It's really simple, guys. It's just really simple, but I'm trying to explain it so you know. I want to be detailed for you. So yeah, once we uh, create an enumeration, of course, we, make it a we can make a variable of that type, you know? So, um... However, even like I remember how I said um, an enumeration is a special type of class. We don't have to do like uh, days, blah, 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 equals new days. Like we don't have to do all that. That's just basically a variable, okay? So, yeah. So, anyway, that's a simple um, enumeration variable, I guess. And we could do stuff with it. Maybe we could uh, 
you know, we can compare them, maybe like an if statement like that. So we can compare them. So we could say we could say day one is equal to um, Apple dot Thursday. Oh, not Apple. <laughs> I'm reading from the example. Sorry. So days dot Thursday. Okay. So if that's true, then output the day is Thursday. Okay. So else if uh, day one is equal to days dot Monday, then do output the day is Monday. Okay, so we'll test that out. So we'll run this now. So the day is Monday, right? So it knows that um, these two are the same thing, okay? So I can compare them if you want to, but we can also use them in a switch statement if we want to also. We, that's pretty cool. So we could do like switch, and then we put the variable name, day one, and then like that. And then we could have different cases, of course, if, you're, if you remember how to do a switch statement. It, it already suggests them for us, too. That's pretty cool. So you actually don't have to have the days dot Monday, Thursday, or Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Saturday, or Wednesday. It just assumes that because we are already using, we're already using the type day one of days, days of day one right here anyway. So anyway, so we can use any of these type uh, cases if you want to. So we're going to have Thursday first, and then we'll say if it's Thursday, then output Thursday. Okay. And that's gonna be break, oops, break. And then case Monday, uh, south Monday. And then we could output, oh no, put break, boom. And we could do as many as you want, of course. So yeah, let's go ahead and run this. Boom, we get Monday. Okay, so that's pretty simple, right? Also, we can output the value of an enumer enumeration variable. So uh, we can output uh, days dot uh, Monday. Okay, let's see what happens. There we go, Monday. Likewise, we can print out the variable that we made. Oops. That's what I meant to do actually, but yeah. So we could do that and just the same thing because they're basically just the same thing. So yeah, that's all very simple, right? So now that we all have all this, we can now look at the values and values of methods that come with the enumeration, uh, come with every enumeration. So all enumerations automatically co um, contain two predefined methods, values and values of, and the values method returns an array that contains a list of all the enumeration constants. So it'd be Monday through Sunday. So, so like I said, um, the values will just return an array of all the constants of the enumeration. So let's go ahead and make an array here if you want to. And then we'll call it, um, let's call it, well, we have to give the type of days, of course, because it's the same data type. So days, um, let's call it days array or something like that. Give the array thing here and then do days dot values, okay? So this is, it's just going to put all of these into an array, basically, okay? And so if you want to print out this array, we could do four. Uh, int i equals zero um, as long as i is smaller than the days array dot length plus one I think and then i plus plus oh god i plus plus okay then I'll put the value of days array i so hopefully if I did that right, it's going to print out all of the constants in the array. So it goes to Sunday and then it stops. You can say error, Monday, Tuesday. Um, maybe I don't need this here. Let's try that. Oh, cool. So it works. Awesome. So that's how you print out an array if you don't remember. <laughs> so yeah, we print out all that because um, remember if we do days dot values, that just puts all the values of the enumeration set of an array. So yeah. So if we look at the um, values of method or value of method, um, that is just going to return the string form of the um, constant that you're trying to pull up. So let me just show you what I mean. So we could output sout days dot um, values of and put a string version of it and say um, Monday and then it's going to return which constant that correlates with so obviously it's going to just print out Monday so yeah so yeah that's how that works um, it's pretty simple so yeah
So likewise, we could just do like, uh, we could declare a variable if we want to. So we could do days, or yeah, days, uh, day two equals, or not declare it there. And we could do like day two equals uh, days dot value of, and then we can say uh, Friday. So that would be the same thing as putting uh, day two equal to days dot Friday. So, yep. Um, yeah, so that's how you do that. Pretty simple. So yeah, that's how you make a um, enumeration. If you don't remember what enumeration is, it's just a collection of constants that correlate with a variable name, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, so it's just a collection of constants, right? So anyway, um, oh yeah, you can make an enumeration like this too if you want to. So like uh, colors, you could do like, just put them downward, like blue. And then you could go to the next one like that. You don't have to put them all on one line, I mean. So like that, you know? Blue, orange, pink, yellow. And then the last one, you don't need to have a comma because it's the last one, but yeah. So anyway, um, yep, that's pretty simple, right? I know this was really simple, but if you have any questions, if I didn't explain it good enough, just leave a comment and I'll help you. Um, if you want to join our dis discords in the description, you can go ahead and do that. Um, if you want to see more videos, just subscribe and I'll be posting more pretty much every day. I'll try to do. And then um, if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, and all that cool stuff, and peace. You're way too much and I'm not getting enough. You're way too much still.